friends and welcome back to Oasis Sin. My name is Ellie and this is my channel and my business. Um, <laughs> I never know how to start off these videos. Today I thought that it would be a really great time for me to start off this year of posting, which I will do very rarely, with a tour of our workspace and studio. Um, if you didn't know already, Oasis Sin is a small business. I make bookish and nerdy pop culture themed items including candles, soap, wax melts, bath bombs, the other bath things, I can't remember off the top of my head for some reason, I'm really bad at describing my own business. Um, it's come from a love of uh, all things nerdy, <laughs> in particular like science fiction and fantasy, um, and games I love playing and books I love reading. So this is our workspace and studio, Byron and I, uh, Byron my partner, who helps run the business, um, just reorganised our house because I currently do this business full time but we do it out of our own home. Um, I am currently the only one living in this house because Byron is away for a extended period of time but in saying that it's still both of our house and so we rearranged the house to make it more friendly for me running the business from the house um, also I have back problems and so before I was making everything on my dining room table and it was giving me really bad shoulder problems so as you can little see, a little sneak peek we um, bought some workbenches and we finally got the dedicated workspace in our living room as well as our dedicated like storage space in our craft room which is technically the main bedroom of our house but I'll get into that as I do the tour Anyway, today I thought I would give you a little tour of our house, um, slash Oasis Sense workspace. And to make it better, I finally got my wax melter, so it's even more exciting. Um, so yeah, let's just get on into it. My next release, really quickly, um, is on the 12th of February. If you are interested, you should check it out down below. My website is currently closed, but tomorrow, when this video, well, after this video has gone out, it will be open again. Um, so if you're interested, take a look. Uh, there's lots of cool one true pairing related items including things from League of Legends, Star Wars, um, TV shows that are really like crack ship Tumblr popular and then also, also just things I love in general like Avatar and the Infernal Devices. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on into our craft room slash Oasis Sense Studio Tour. I don't know what to call this but our workspace is made up of a few different components. The first component is a shelf behind me and I'll give you a more in-depth tour as I go through it. Um, to the right directly here I have um, boxes full with shredded books. I do buy secondhand books and shred them. I also save things like packaging materials and um, the paper that's on the back of shipping labels and I shred that. Um, and then on this thing behind me is where I have my printer, vessels and boxes. So I'll give you a more in-depth look at that and also exclude the fact that at the bottom there is workout equipment, this is our house, and also paper patterns for making cosplay because I'm currently organising things. At the top here I have empty boxes which I will use for sending out orders, like some of them are a bit big but you never know. Um, this one is for taking photos but I don't actually, it's like for my personal bookstagram which I no longer have. And then I've got materials for um, sending things. Over here I've got my main lids, so these are my own 120ml glass jar lids. I have my um, small glass jar slash my body butter lids, lip balm tubes, and then my big glass lids. Over here I have wax melt containers which I'm slowly running out of, I'll buy some soon. I've got this jar that my mum gave me and then I've got some excess 200ml glass jars. This is where I keep my body butters, this is lip uh, scrubs. Over here I've got all my vessels, so I've got... 200ml glass, 120ml uh, tin, 60ml glass and 120ml glass. Underneath that I have my packing materials, these are bags I use for sending. I'm actually slowly phasing out these because I've now got a cheaper shipping option but I still have them. Um, but I do use these, they're all eco-friendly packs and they come from r3pack.co.nz, they're really great, I love them. Uh, in here I have two full boxes of shredded paper and other things, mostly paper right now, uh, or books should I say. I've got my printer. And then I have um, different label things. I've got like normal paper, bigger shipping labels for international orders that require tracking. And then I've also got like my actual label paper. And then down here is where my uh, like whipped soap jars live. I bought quite a few of them. So I have lots. This is uh, my new packing desk. It's actually a knitting table. Weird. Um, here are some excess of my big boy jars. You probably like big boy jars. That's what I call my bunny knickers collab jars. I have some wicks that I need to sell, excess boxes, I don't really use this desk right now but I will be using it when I start sending orders again, I haven't sent some for a little while, uh, I've been a bit slack, and then underneath I have my Cricut which I don't very use often, 
very rarely. And then underneath here, we have my wax melt samples, which I send with every order. Occasionally I also have soap, right now I don't. And then I also have these, which I use for packaging soap. And also, in here, you'll see, when I make candles, I sometimes have excess, that's what all this comes from. I have excess um, things, and so I put them in these little bags, and then I shred the bags sometimes when I can, and then behind that I have Cricut mats. Sorry for the shaky cam, I'm really not good at this. <laughs> um, I have just a board, it's got like, it's like a background board, I would say. It's got like an old book attached to it. Um, and then this is my first workbench. I am sorry about the glare. It is in front of our window. On the back of the workbench, I have scissors and things I could hang up. I just went crazy. I um, mean, they also have like really important charging cords. And then on the desk, I have um, this is to hang up some stuff. So it's not actually live there. My headphones. Um, I have something new I'm about to start doing. It's a cute little wax melter thing and then I have excess care sheets I'm currently phasing out my care sheets and doing something new soon so once those are all gone that will be those I've got my handy dandy scale I need to get a new scale that's like digital scale uh no like a plug-in one but I haven't done that yet and then I have my candle master book I am weird like that I needed to write it all down underneath I have wax and wax and I've put them on either side to like weight the table and then I have some more shredded paper, and this is what I use currently. On top of my first thing, I have um, these, which I am really bad at using, but because I give my care sheets, I don't mind too much. But now that I've got them out here and not in my craft room, I will use them more. These are like candle warning labels. I have business cards, book recommendation cards, and then excess reveal candle card things um i'm bringing back some reveal candles so that's why they're still there i have enamel pin things i don't just talk enamel pins really it's just i had to buy a lot of them i have candle care sheets soap care sheets and then my, my little thank you care sheets but like the whole pile of them i'm waiting to use those all up sorry about the glare i have my uh stapler double-sided tape dispenser tape this cool thing that sam from bunny nick has got me with all my like Pens and stuff, more pens, washi tape from different artists. Oh, I just dropped that one. I have like a Good Omens, a Radish one, and then Woman Love Woman. Um, and then I have like twine and a stamp that I put on the back of things occasionally. And then over here I have two more workbenches. Um, so this will be my main workbench here. And then I've got these two for working on. In the corner I have um, a surge protected thingy. I don't know what to call it plug board um and then my label printer i don't know if i'm gonna leave it in the corner i've just set this up the other day underneath this one i have cardboard boxes it's a lot of different boxes i don't i, I use them quite often but you know um and they're very much underneath like my actual workbench i have my main boxes which i'm running out of i've just ordered some more some what's that thing guillotine <laughs> i don't know and then also tissue paper i pre-cut all this tissue paper myself the other day go me um, underneath here, I have big bubble wrap. This is like for inside big boxes. And then I have my whole roller bubble wrap. I also recycle bubble wrap. As you can see underneath here, it's a whole lot of recycled paper from orders that I get from suppliers. I recycle whatever I can, and then sometimes I don't have enough, so I buy a big roll every once in a while. I have all my wicks and all my containers. And currently in this container, because I'm about to start making it, dice! And then under here, I have my um candle creations or what is it channel and me candle maker which i use for samples or um custom orders behind there i have a heat sealer a box full of things for shredding it used to be where i used to make candles but i don't anymore and then a shredder <laughs> i forgot the name before um i also have uh gloves this box won't live here forever but because I just got my wax melter, I'm keeping it until I know for sure my wax melter works and everything. But I have paper towels, distilled water, which won't also live there just for now. And then my own personal bag. And this is my brand new wax melter. It cost me a lot of money, but it will be worth it because it'll speed up my process. I normally make things there. I used to make them on my dining table. It used to just go here, but it doesn't anymore. My dining table is now there, as well as my bookshelf. This is an overview of the whole workspace. So 
So now that you've seen my main workspace where I'll be making the products, let me take you into my storage craft room area, which is where I keep everything else. I use this space mainly for storing stock, like candles, or for storing supplies like all my raw materials, as I don't have the room out there. Also that room is our living room and our kitchen and our dining room, so it's nice to have be able to like close this room off, even though literally the whole workspace is also out there. But this is primarily where I store finished stock and also play video games. Um, this is also Byron's studio, but while he's not home uh, for the extended period of time, it is his desk is now a storage place for me as well but I'm just being like cheeky and using it as storage normally it's not normally I can do without it but that's that and so let me take you on to it is a little bit messy I must admit because I live here I don't see a point in cleaning 100% for this but um I would do my best to explain to you everything and all the storage so once you enter from that hallway uh directly to the left is uh, slime supplies that's just me being weird um, and then I have some bigger fragrances that I don't fit on a shelf and some candles I have like books that I need and also my petty cash I have enamel pins and another book bathrooms that are not my own they're just random bathrooms we have then here's my main stock shelf on top I normally have like Persephone and Kinadam and then whatever else I can fit sometimes it's also where I put like the last of the line then I have on the next one I have No Face and Laura Jean and then another one that's running out. Quite often on this middle shelf I just have random things so currently I have more in the store. I have, uh, this one's a permanent one, this is Roll for Hygiene or Roll for Ambience, sorry. It's a little bit out of focus. And they have Totoro. Underneath I have the Cadre, Reese and Feyre, Era and the 13. They're all currently, well two of them are permanent items, what two of them aren't so that's why they're on that shelf. And then at the bottom I have some brand new ones and it tends to be at the bottom of the shelf that I put brand new items. So I have Destia which is coming out tomorrow and Zaya and Rakana which is coming out tomorrow. Underneath that in this little gap it's perfect for fitting all my body butters. So I have Elizabeth, Aelin, the trolley lady, no it's not called that anymore, golden ticket um, and Howl. They're, these two are my permanent ones. And then those two are just like leftovers. And then underneath there, in this cubby, I always have my reading bookish candles. And in that one, I always, ha always have sticky buns. There's also a kid down there right now. Uh, my sewing machine gets stored there because behind that is just like random things I don't need during the time. Then we move on to my desk. This is my personal desk. But I do actually make labels on this computer. But it's my personal computer. And then I just have like cool things in the background, including an MP's desk helmet. Underneath the desk I have all my storage bins. I use these to take things to cons but I also store soap in here when I don't have cons on. Um, it works well. They're also a great footrest. That's my rubbish bin so don't look at that. And then over here we move on to my shelving. So at the top of my shelving I have some things for making soap. I have my soap cutter. I have lip balm tubes and pipettes. Things for cons. Cosplay. 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 Uh, colorants, it's not very organized, that's just me. Then up here I have uh, whipped soap pre-made base, additives for wax, flowers and things like that. I have soap molds and other things, important things. Over here I have, well that's not actually bath bombs, it says bath bombs. It's not, it's lip balm scrubs and perfumes. Then I've got lip balms, I've got, not wax melts, bath salts. Um, things for mystery bargain boxes. I have over here a little sneak peek. Um, in here I have, this is what I use for the top, like wax drizzles, I save these every time, so I make little things. Um, this is just wax melts, I actually need to just package. Um, so I have like dark colours, in the middle I have normally dice. And then underneath I have light colours. This is all my labelling, um, so I organise it really randomly. It's like, these are bookish candles, so I've got Ketodam and recent Favourite in there. I only have a lot of extras because I print them every so often. And here I have random ones I need to use up but I'm waiting for fragrances to arrive. And here I have from this month's one and then in this one is next month's. Here I have, not that you really care, like sticky buns and the card dry and just a few other leftovers from the last release just in case I decide to make more. In here I have like all my critical roll candle ones and roll for ambience it's kind of like gamer candles that's kind of how I organize it here I have soap embeds and uh, wax embeds and then more soap soap embeds 
uh, wax for melting so this is not I had some left over and I didn't want to sell it as samples so those will go into actual not candles this is um, more embed stuff and then in here I have soap embeds for Reese I also have more soap embed stuff that's basically just everything colorants goat's milk embeds and bath bomb things down here is a boring filing that's um, soap fragrances only so that are only for soap and you can't use for anything else so I've put them separately from my other stuff and then I also have perfume tubes and then at the bottom this is a pile of mess I have to admit um, I have pink Himalayan salt Epsom salts bicarbonate soda uh, citric acid rock salts all for bath salts and bath bombs that's where they all live at the bottom and then onto my pride and glory is my most expensive part of my house <laughs> um, here I have colorants and glitters I have lots of little glitter tubes they're all bio glitters um, here I have colorants in their blocks I use this little grater I'm sorry it's really out of focus I don't have an auto focus camera um, I have this for grating my colors and so they're all organized in the rainbow here I have lip balm flavors and essential oils because you can use depending on the essential oil you can use some as lip balm flavors but I don't tend to um there's just one or two like this one's not that's actually something else um but I put my essential oils separately as well because I only use them for soap under here I have my 100 mils and under candles oh not candles um fragrances plus if it's a small container like this this is actually 250 mils um and they're all kind of organized like floral critical role random things that I know I'm using for something but not sure when that can go under critical role fragrances I'm not really sure what I'm doing with yet um things that I have things planned in the future this is like fruity slash foody and this is like permanent collection for only um only for body butter and then that's stuff that's coming up and then I have my big one liter jug things and I've written on the side um, I also have like excess behind that you can kind of see if you actually lose in the back that's excess and then I have my 500 ml sort of uh, fragrances and I've written on the top what they all are because otherwise it gets a bit confusing but also I've got excess of the one litre and these big black ones are also like one litre um, and then at the very bottom here I have sodium hydroxide, uh, olive oil, sunflower oil, more olive oil, uh, other oils I use, more oils and isopropyl alcohol and then additives for soap um in here is fragrances for armageddon and overload so i just pulled them out so i don't accidentally use them next up we have these drawers so the top two drawers are cosplay patterns just because it's my life in here i have uh, my heat gun and supplies for making body butter and soap like equipment and here i have more equipment so mostly like this sort of stuff or like just random like you know this sort of thing you know that and now have lip balm tube stuff random things for soap these two drawers here are completely full of molds um lots of this is like smaller molds and then this is like bigger ones i don't know how to describe my organization for it this one has some containers but i've actually just started moving my containers to a different place so they will probably shift and then this one here has excess candle colorants and then things for armageddon and events moving on just in this one little area, I have a few more things. I have an Ahsoka headpiece because it's totally for a waste of sense. Kidding. Um, I have can, like uh, set up things for uh, events, like display. I have my cocoa butter and shea butter and coconut oil here. That's actually more shea butter. I need to put it in the thing, but I haven't yet. I have excess um, candle tins. These are the ones I don't like, but until my proper ones arrive, I've kept them. If I don't end up needing them, I will sell them. And they've got excess big boy glass jars and then I've got bags I do try my best to um, like not have stuff here but while the shelves are full out the front then I have to put things here and finally I have more fragrances so when you like see that there's like new fragrances there they all here right now and that's my tripod sorry about the tripod and finally I have this extra shelf this is actually some shoe racks that we've just implemented so on top I have my upcoming whipped soap which is Pearl Fruit, I can't really say that, Ash and Trindamere, and Nina and Matthias, and then I've got all my upcoming candles um, for this next release, and also in the middle, Critical Role candles. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tour of my business um, and my workspace. If you want in, in more in-depth 
thing about how I organize things or how I do anything in this business please let me know down below and I'll try my best to do a video on it I would like to get into doing videos but it's quite hard because I do spend so much time making items and sending out orders and social media that I forget to actually film things I do film TikToks all the time so you can check out my TikTok here is that a waste of sense and I do film like behind the scenes but if you're interested in seeing more behind the scenes of stuff on actual YouTube and not like short 15 30 second videos let me know and I'll try my best to do that for you um yeah if you are interested in checking out our next release it comes out tomorrow at 7 p.m New Zealand time don't ask why it's 7 p.m it just makes me feel happy so without further ado thank you so much for watching I hope you guys all enjoy this video and I'll see you guys all next time I film a video bye